Hey, what's up guys? So it's another video of uh, Stop 51 vending and uh, Look we're in corona times fuck that I like my glasses better All right look a little better like that. I could take it off, but I'd rather keep it like this. So once again Look, we're not in the greatest of the times We're in freaking corona times. All right uh, freaking Corona Corona shut down the city the state the country the world shit um, Literally shut everybody down um, I'm pretty sure the vendors that are out there right now uh, that were uh, flourishing are now crying and are dying to get out and you know the truth the truth is is that you know what those who stay, you know, will flourish even more because you know what? These times, these messed up times will not only make us stronger and better operators, but we will show that there's nothing that could put us down. Um, I know that my income has went down drastically I'm talking about I'm making like 10% of what I was making literally like all my stores are shut down um, I think this is like phase two in New York City right now um, that half, half, half like 90% of the stores are shut down and, and and to make the matters even worse no matter who I go to like say if they don't have a machine I would like to place one they're all like, oh, well, how about you give me, you know, half? I'm like, half of what? We don't even know what it's going to produce. How can I give you half of anything, you know? And the truth is, we've already lost money. I'm only here to help, to help, you know? So, if I could help a little bit more, okay, you know, the machine's not going to make you a million bucks. All right, it's not. It's gonna make you freaking uh, 10, 20 dollars a month, you know. But you know what? At the end of the day, that 10, 20 bucks is again. It could be used towards uh, electricity. It could be used uh, for some kind of bill. It could be used for a product, for for uh, for a, pe a piece of something, anything inside your workplace, you know, like a barber shop. 20 bucks can get you, probably get you like a, a blade or something or a pack of razor blades that you can use to trim, you know, to trim people, you know. Um, that's probably like a hundred pack. You know, how much does each blade cost? How much does each cut cost? Each cut, we're looking at almost like 30 to $50. So, you know, don't tell me that the $20 I'm gonna give you is gonna be bullshit because that $20 is gonna turn into a blade that's gonna make you $50 times 100. What's the math on that? I don't know. I just made you five G's, all right? Think of it that way, all right? Don't think of it at $20, ah, eh, nah, what's $20 gonna do? Let's stick it up your ass, you know? Wipe my ass with that shit, you know? Stick it down the fucking drain, who the fuck cares? $20, what the fuck? What, $20, what do you do with that shit? You know, but think of it that way. You know, uh, 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 $20 towards an electric bill. You know, uh, that $20 will keep your store open or give you a, a light for the store for an extra three to four days that you didn't have before. Throughout the year, that's three to four days a month. What does that translate to? Do 10 months? And you got 30 to 40 days. What does that translate to? Almost a month of free electric. Are you stupid or something to deny a fucking vending machine? I'm sorry for cursing, but I'm just like, it's it's just realistic. Like, I, like I'm just thinking realistically. You know, uh, I, I spoke to a guy. He's a big time real estate agent. I was like, bro, I understand. This is my bread and butter. I, 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 I know you don't get two shits when you do clean outs out of these stores and it's a little candy machine but you, you don't get two shits about it you don't care it's a little candy machine it's all it is it's a little fucking candy machine 
okay? It does nothing for you. You're not gonna take $20 and do anything with it because here you are making $2,000 an hour. What's $20 gonna, per month gonna do for you? But you gotta think, you gotta think about it this way. What about a struggling business, okay? A struggling business. $20, $30, $40, you know, that, that could come in useful to them. You know, that could be useful, you know? And it translates into a lot. And a lot of people, they don't think about it. What, $20? Get the fuck out of my face, motherfucker. Get out of here. You know, and that's what I get every day, every day. Like, get out of here, get out of here, get out with your fucking little stupid little fucking candy machines. Get out of here. And, and, and it's the truth. But, but they're not going to understand the bigger picture of it. You know, and, and maybe, honestly, maybe they had a, you, you know, maybe they had a, 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 a bad occurrence from a, the previous vendor um, that maybe they got screwed over or something. You know, I mean, anything could have happened, you know. Um, so, I mean, I mean, you just got to think about it that way also because, you know, uh, there, there's plenty of vendors that want to come in and, 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 you know, and do this business. The problem is, as I said before, look, we are in hard times right now. And you're thinking like, you know, I have people that want to like, like, okay, I sell my vending machines, okay? Like when I buy a route, and I'm not afraid to say it. Look, I, uh, it's a secret. I don't, I don't care. I buy a route, right? And then it's got machines on it, right? And what I do is when I resell that machine, when I take it off the, when I take that machine off the route, right? I take that machine off the route, I, I sell it. When I sell it, I sell it for dirt cheap. Okay, say the machine is worth uh, $150, $200. Retail, used, uh, you could probably get them for like um, $120, $100. I sell for like 50 bucks a pop. I'll even sell you four or five of them in one shot. I don't care. But what I do in the end, and, and this, 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 is, this is where, where it comes interesting, is that... Um, I tell the person, I ask the person, I said, well, why are you buying these machines? Not that it's any of my business, but I'm just curious. But, you know, it's, it's always nice to find out, like, who, what, when, where, and why, you know? And I always ask them, well, why, why are you buying these machines? They always say is, yo, I'm looking to get in and make some money. I said, wow, it's a wrong business you're getting into. This business has such a slow turnaround Okay, it's not like a, it's not like a product that, that, that you can buy for say a dollar and flip it for three. No way. You can't do this with this business. There's no way for you to even start to see anything, any part of your return for this business. You have to wait at least a year and within that year, bro, you're not sitting around. Bro, you're working hard. So if you went in for a route and you say you spent 50 grand, you won't make that money back for at least a year or two. The turnaround on the business is a minimum, minimum of 10 months to a year, minimum. And that's like, you'll start to see something so yeah, I mean, you, throughout the year you'll make like you know you'll make your money and stuff, but with this Corona stuff, we've gone down. So now I take that ten months to a year, and I say it's almost two to three years before I make that money back. If you guys saw me around for fifty grand, that's just gonna take me three years to to, to make my money back because I don't know who's gonna. Uh, who's gonna throw me out so I can come into the location today and the location could be seasoned and so and so on but the problem is you don't know the store could be closing the owners not telling you that the store is closing I have so many shutdowns that I have to go and hunt down for my machines I have to hunt them down I have to hunt uh, a, a few stores for my machines you know and then there's a few that I can't even get to you know they're gone they're beautiful machines but they're gone you know and people treat them like scrap, people treat them like nothing. At the end of the day, you know, your store is your bread and butter. 
or whatever it is that you do is your bread and butter, these ugly looking, disgusting little things that make me 25 cents an hour is my bread and butter, okay? And it doesn't belong to the store. But meanwhile, they decide to throw them out or scrap them or sometimes they break into them and then they'll take all the money, they'll take all, this, all the stuff and then they'll scrap it for metal. You know what I mean? To me, they're priceless, okay? Because I could take that one machine and put it into 20 different places in 20, on 20 different occasions. In fact, I can get 20 machines and put them into 20 different places and I'll be making money, okay? And then people say, oh, I'm going to pick up five machines and I'm going to make my money, yeah! Bro, you ain't making shit, all right? These machines, <laughs> if you're lucky, if you're lucky, and I'm saying like this has to be like the like the best case scenario if you are lucky a single head machine will produce at a maximum of ten dollars a month okay if you spent a hundred and fifty let's say you bought a brand new machine a machine cost you about two or three hundred dollars and you're making ten dollars a month on that do the math of how long it'll take you to make that money back Say you pay $300 at $10 a month. That's 30 months. That's two and a half years before you see your money back. Now, counting uh, your travel, your gas, your time, the product. You know what I mean? You got to count all that in. And here they are. They're buying two or three machines. And they're like, yeah, we're going to go make some money. Yeah, we're going to be fucking filthy rich. I'm like, bro, you ain't making no money and you ain't going to be filthy rich from this business. This business is great for a, a, a substantial income. In other words, you need a consistent income, okay? If I, if I wake up tomorrow and I lose my regular daytime job, I can go back to this. I can go pick up, uh, you know, two or three or four hundred dollars for the day. But that two or three or four hundred dollars didn't come from one day. Those machines didn't produce that two or three or four hundred dollars in one day. Those machines have been producing that for like two or three months, you know. And in order to cash out like three hundred bucks, you need at least, I say, fifteen machines, doubles, maybe even triples, and then. You can you can do that, you know. You can cash out that three hundred dollars for the for the month. But you know that's you have to find locations for each one. So if you have like ten machines that you want to put out, say they're double heads, you just have to do do the math like this. Each single head machine will produce ten dollars. So a double head will produce twenty dollars. A triple head will produce uh, thirty dollars. And that's like on the best. Don't go out and get like a fucking nine header. Don't think you're gonna make ninety dollars a month off of each machine. No way. Not gonna happen. Um, you probably make half of that if you're lucky. Okay. So when I say ten dollars a machine, that's like at the highest. I assume that they will make half. So from each head, I would expect to get make at least five dollars uh, minus commission as well. So you gotta count your gas your toll if you have any, your travel, your expenses, and now you, you, you have you have to give a you have to give a commission to the place as well. You know, that's not that's not easy. That's not that's not something, you know, easy to do, you know? So that's a, something to think about, you know, all these things come into play. You don't just fucking make money on the right on the right, you know, when you start. So what I do when I sell these machines is you know, I tell these people, look, I understand you want to try the business and you want to see what it is. I completely understand. I'm, I'm all for it. You could buy 20 machines from me. I don't care. But when you are done and when you are ready to sell them, when you're like, like fed up with the business, because you got to have a lot of nerve to run this business. You got to have a lot of nerve. You, you got to have a lot of balls to run the business. Okay. You have to, you got it, you got it. There's no way you're running the business without balls. No way. 
not saying you can't be a lady, but not saying you can't have, you can't be a guy, but I'm just saying you gotta have balls, like balls in your head, you know, not the other head, don't get nasty, all right, <clears throat> and you gotta, you, you, you gotta know what you're doing, you know, right now, all these people are saying no, 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 you know, you got some people saying, you know, oh, I want 50%, I said, listen, I'll be more than happy to give you 100% of nothing, okay? But I'd rather give you a certain percentage of something because that certain percentage I know is always going to be there. The problem is a lot of people are so fucking greedy that it's it's just impossible to, to, to make anyone happy in the city. You know, and I have a friend, he's in New Jersey, and he goes, your people are fucking animals. They're ruthless, nasty animals. And I'm like, well, no, it's just New York. It's just, that's just New York. You know, you got to, you, you got, you got to deal with it. You know, it's the bullshit we got to go through. You know, everybody wants to, you know, uh, haggle somebody else. Everybody wants to, you know, uh, make money on somebody else, you know. But uh, the thing is that with this business, there's not much to make, you know. It has gone down. I mean, every single place, the malls were, the malls are closed. Uh, the barber shops, I think, just opened up, which is awesome. The pizza shops, I know, have been open for a while. I don't think they even closed. Um, you know, and it's just a lot of stuff. My point is... There's a lot of points, you know, um, a store that's closing, you know, if you have equipment in the store, you know, I'm a vendor, those machines are my bread and butter, just like you're running and you're working hour by hour, and you don't give a sh two shits about, ah, it's a fucking machine, ah, who cares, ah, $20, no, they're not $20, and even if they are, they're my $20, you have no right to toss it out. You have no right to scrap it. You have no right to pick it up. My name and number is on every single machine. You know? My name and number is on every single machine. And still, I lose about 10 machines a year. No matter what, I still lose about 10 machines a year. Okay? That's about one every month. Okay? That's about one every month. That sucks. Those odds are really high. You know? Those machines are not cheap. They are, they, they, they are pretty expensive, you know, the prices have gone up uh, drastically on these machines, and on top of that, you know, people are, uh, you know, going crazy on them, and then you have the bootleg machines that are coming out, but then again, you can't even call it a bootleg, because it's just a vending machine, it doesn't matter what company of a vending machine you have, uh, you, have you can have the best company and still lose out, and you can have the shittiest company and still make out. You know what I mean? So you can't say you have a shitty machine or you have a good machine. You have a machine, period. You know? Uh, the second point I want to make is uh, don't judge a book by its cover. Yes, I know. $20 is nothing. It's bullshit. It's bananas. It's fucking bananas. What you got to do with bananas? You got to do absolutely nothing. But as I said, $20 can translate into uh, 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 some supply uh, for the store or for the restaurant, um, maybe they need uh, uh, salt and pepper extra. You know, uh, twenty dollars of salt and pepper, bro. I think that's like a that's like if it's a busy restaurant, I think you got like two or three months worth of salt and pepper. You know, that's two or three months worth of satisfied customers. You know what I mean? That you didn't have to worry about salt and pepper. I say, whatever. I don't care what you buy with it. You buy something with it. Anything. You know? And, and, it's just crazy. You know? Um, third, you don't think you're going to get rich. You're not going to get rich off of this. Okay? You can, you can start the business up. And when you're ready to sell, you can call a guy like me that will buy you out. I'll be more than happy to pay double for my machine. So if you pay 50 bucks for my machines, I understand you've made your money back you, or you didn't make your money back and you're stuck on stupid right now because you're like, oh shit, I went into it. I didn't know what it was. 
you know, and I don't think this is the right thing for me to do. Um, don't forget, once you open up a business like this, there's no vacations for you. Your vacation is where your business is. You know what I mean? So, like, if you open up a soda machine business, guess what? Those soda machines need to be filled up every few days. There's no way you're going on vacation. There's no seven-day vacations for you, bro. No way. You're not getting that. They're not thinking about that when, when they think. They're like, oh, yeah, money, 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 money. No, bro. Sure, you'll make the money, but you'll never have a life. You know? That's why you have to set it up properly so that when you are, when you do take that vacation, that you're comfortable, that you have anything and everything you need. You know, I'm in the city over here, and I travel between the states. So, you know, um, I, I go between north and south, you know. Um, but uh, I travel. I enjoy the shit out of it. I, when I travel, I go. I cash out a couple machines, and I continue. I stay a night or two in the hotel. I go to the next to the next stop, and I continue, and I continue, and I continue. So my money never stops because... Don't forget, I've already done the work of placing these machines. All I'm waiting for is for them to make me money. And then all I all I have to do is go and cash it out and refill the machines. You know? Uh, my product comes to me by mail. So if I, if I know I'm going somewhere, I'll just mail the product to there. If I'm going with my van, as you can see, I'm driving my van right now. Um... I, 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 I'll take it with me, I'll take whatever I can, and if I need extras, there's always like a, a BJ's or a Costco or a Sam's Club nearby, you know, that I can always pick up my, my stuff from, you know, uh, so I'm not, I'm not, I'm never stuck, you know, um, so, I mean, it's just so many things, you know, uh, that, 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 what am I, up to three, four, whatever, if I skip one, whatever, four, if you got into the business and it's not for you, there's a reason it's not for you. If your if your business was originally, say, I don't know, you were a, I don't know, you were whatever, you know, you were uh, a, a, a mechanic, whatever, you know, and you wanted to make a few extra dollars, that's great, you know, you could put it into your mechanic shop and you can make a few extra dollars, and then. If you want to expand from that, you could expand from that. But once again, you have to keep the product and the stock of the product. You have to keep the product fresh. And don't forget, I've had people that, that come to me and they're like, yeah, yeah, you could put a machine in. And then they see how I operate. And they're like, yeah, you know what? Thank you. But uh, no, thank you. Uh, get the fuck out. I got my own machine. I said, by all means, go ahead. I go get your own machine. And then they called me like a few months later. Can I borrow some supply from you? Can I buy supply from you? I'm like, bro, don't you say you got it covered? What's up? What you need me for? You threw me out. Yeah, but I need supply. I was like, wait a minute. You want to get into the business so you can make all that money instead of collecting my percentage? So you're making like $10 more every month? And you're creating a problem for yourself. You're creating a fucking headache for yourself. Versus taking $10 less every month and giving it to me and letting me deal with the problem. Because I'll deal with it. I'll deal with the problem. I'm the vendor. I have all the stock. I have the supply. I have the machines. Something breaks. Anything breaks. I'll get that shit done quick. Now, if you are running a shop and it's your machine, I've serviced a couple of machines. Believe me, I, you know, I get service calls here and there for machines that are not even mine. And then when 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 I go in there, I said, look, I now give them the opportunity. I said, look, it's your machine, and only because it's their machine. I said, look, I completely understand. You got the machine to make money. I completely understand. Okay, but at this time, you're calling me for help. I'm going to offer you a little bit extra help, okay? Either I charge you $65 per hour, okay, to service your machine, or we could split the profits and I won't charge you shit. I just charge you for the part. 
you know, and we'll go half and half on that machine at all the way. So parts, everything, whatever goes in there, it's going to be half and half after expense. And they start thinking about it, they start thinking about it. Whoa, hold on a second. Bro, what's that? Bro, what are you fucking stupid, bro? That's my machine. I said, yeah, but right now it's broken. It's not making you any money. But if I get onto it, it'll make both of us money and it'll relieve the headache that you currently have, which is a broken machine. Nah, bro, talk that shit out. Fuck that shit. Pick up another one. Fuck you. I'm like, yeah, that's nice, but why would you want to deal with the headache when I could take care of all of that for you? You want your machine? No problem. But you'll get less commission if I put one of my machines in versus me fixing this machine up. And then I don't like if, if that's what happens, you know, I'm not looking to make any money on it. I'm just looking to I'm just looking to, you know, to progress. I'm just looking to expand, you know, and nobody's had any negative repercussions with my machines. I usually service. I mean, I service very good. I mean, the back of my card. Let me see if I can get you one of the back, back of my cards. Hold on a second. Let's see. Driving. There you go. That is one of my cards. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. What does that say? It says for service. For service today, call before 4 p.m. What does that mean? What are you talking about, bro? What kind of service you can provide me before 4 p.m.? What the fuck are you talking about? No, that means when you call me before 4 p.m. today. I will be here today. I don't care what line of business you're in. There's no way that you're calling a service center and they're showing up today. I don't give a fuck what business you're in. Okay? You're in the cheap shit business or you're in the rich, richy dodo business. Okay? I don't care. You're not getting that service ever. Okay? I've been through laundromats, I've been through barber shops, I've been through pizza shops. A um, uh, uh, laundromat will have their machine broken or their dryer broken, um, and they'll call for service. They're like, yeah, I'll be there in a week. I, you, you beat, bro, you beat, I'm sorry. And it's $65 an hour. Um, a barber shop, uh, obviously their, their, their supplies is not that much, but you know, when they call in for new supplies, even the guy that's selling you this shit, he's like, bro, you want it? No, fuck you. I don't care if I sell it to you. You're the one that called me. You know what I mean? But they don't come right away. Even if it's corporate, they don't show up the next day. No way. Some of these vending guys, I see like these big time vending guys, you know, uh, they're, 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 they're like, they're like, oh yeah. Uh, someone put an 800 number on there. You know, and they're like, fuck you. I've been into stores where the machines were empty, empty, empty. I don't care how many machines you guys service, but a machine should never, ever be empty. Like I'll get to one of my machines and, and like if a soda machine is empty, which is rarely happens, you know, it, it happens. It's a surprise to me. I, I have to rush right away and get the stuff done. Um, but I do get it done. And I get it done the same day. But if nobody calls me, how am I supposed to know about this shit? I don't even know. I don't know if nobody calls me. So sometimes I wait for the call. But like on a soda machine, I'll check up like every two weeks. Some of the busy ones, I'll check up on them every week. I'll just walk in, check it out, see what it needs, you know, stuff like that, you know. And, and, and this is the whole thing. Nobody calls. Nobody cares. Nobody cares for this business. They're like, what? You're a vendor? Well, what, what? Like cat food and shit? Yeah, we launch you. No, I'm a vendor. I'm a vending machine operator. And, 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 and you, you know what? They don't care about these machines. They'll toss them out. You know how many stories I've heard? Soda machines are being thrown out because they wouldn't accept a dollar. They wouldn't accept a dollar bill. All you gotta do is clean the validator. That's it. And it'll start accepting. Yeah, but we gotta toss it. 
Like, bro, you just tossed the whole fucking machine. You don't even know if there was money in the machine, you know? Like, how do you do that? It's a $75 part. Why would you do that? You know? And they toss all these things out, you know? Um, I try to, like, grab them. If I get, like, I get a lot of free machines as well, like soda machines. I get, like, the old school machines. So if you guys are, like interested in soda machines like like old school soda machines they still work i have a couple of brand new ones um I, at this point i was gonna sell them but if you pick them up they're yours the last two machines i got came with keys came with manual i think they have manuals came with all the parts came with everything they're brand new machines the compressors are ice fucking cold Ice cold. You can't even get that out of brand new machine. You know? You can't even get that. You know? And, and this is this is the stuff I gotta deal with. It's, you know? It's just, just just some of the things I gotta deal with. You know? I also did this. There's another thing. I think I lost the count already. I don't even know. I'm on subject 99 point B something. Sorry, guys. Uh, but if you have questions... Feel free to ask me any questions that you have. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Um, you know, I'm not I'm not hiding what I do. Um, it, it's it's just how you do it. You know, you have you have to know what you're doing. You know, you have to know because if you, if you don't know what the hell you're doing, you get what you're getting into, what kind of business you get into, then you're just being stupid like the other 99. percent You know. Um, it, it, this is this is this business is for that that one percent, maybe two percent of the people, you know, that are that know what the hell they're doing, you know. And and then you know, on top of that, um, I see all these young kids on YouTube and stuff. Like, oh yeah, I got two machines. I go, man, bro, where'd you get money to get two brand new machines? The machines that you show me. Or worth three to six thousand dollars a pop. I don't know what you did to get that three to six thousand dollars per machine, but bro, it's impossible for you to make that kind of money on the spot. You're not making that kind of money on the spot with these machines. You're not, unless you have a hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of machines. You are not making that money. You're definitely not making that money. You know what I mean? Oh my, like, this is. I'm sorry, I'm driving. There's just a, this beautiful, beautiful girl sitting right there. Beautiful. They got people sitting outside in New York City. It's crazy. You know? It's really crazy. Um, so, you know, it's, it's just crazy. The other thing I want to say, like, like, you, you know, so, so... So I don't think all these kids, they're, they're getting money from their parents and shit. And then they're going to making these YouTube videos like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I made two, three hundred dollars from that machine. And it's only been two weeks. Like, bro, you didn't make nothing because you still got to pay off that machine. And even if you got it on credit, you still owe for that machine, bro. So that two or three hundred dollars you pulled out ain't going nowhere but their pocket. You got you, you got to make another ten collections like that to even that machine out. Cause if that machine costs you three grand. You got to do another ten collections like that. And you better hope you make those ten collections. Because the problem with right now that I'm seeing is that all the products that I like, I usually order my stuff from Sam's Club, and they're usually pretty good. Uh, recently, I started ordering from BJ's and stuff. Um, but uh, they're pretty good on the shipping. Um, and then Costco charges you a little bit um, if you don't have the account and stuff. Um, so, yeah, I don't have a Costco account. But I do have BG's and Sam's Club account. <clears throat> um, so, all the stuff comes straight to my home. You know, like that big box you see back there. That's just full of shit right there. Like, it's good stuff. Um, that I just got I got to make sure and check the expiration dates right now um, Make sure that there's at least 
uh, three to four months of um, you know good life on that product because um, the last three months they've been shipping like like I order say uh, say I ordered it in, in, in April right and um, I, I, I ordered in April and um, it would come to me a couple of days later but the expiration date would be like the end of April like that's not gonna do me any good you know it's gonna be at least a month or two before I can put that stuff out you know so anyways guys um, I want to thank you for watching and um, once again if you got any questions guys I, I, I totally went off subject and I really don't even know what this video is all about anymore I'll probably have to watch it to rename it um, but um, you know just uh what did I tell you? Just, you know, just uh, a vending machine is a vending machine, you know? And uh, if you have any questions, I guess uh, subscribe or, you know, ask me all, all the questions you want, you know? Um, I'll be more than happy to answer them all. And, um, you know, don't go, don't be asking me stupid questions like, how much do you make? Um, I won't tell you. Um, I gave you an estimate on the heads. Um, sort of machines are a little bit different. You never know where you're gonna put it and how much it's gonna make and when it's going to make it. Um, you don't know, you just don't know. So, you know, here's my mask. Here I go. I go inside the store for service. So, this is me and my service, you know. All right, guys. Um, I will see you guys soon. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching my boring ass video uh, that you probably fell asleep on or something. Or you're just trying to figure out what the hell is this idiot talking about. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a great, it's a great business. Just, you know, you got to take care of it, you know. All right. Take care, guys. Thank you for watching. Peace out.